Raven's Wing. I haven't done in a video in a while. I apologize for that. Things have been quite interesting with moving and everything. Um, I'm in a new location. I'm trying to figure out lighting and things like that as far as setting up for my crystals. Um, I've got a huge dresser that's filled with all sorts of stuff. This is my first grid that I have for sale. The album for it is in albums, first grid on my Ravenswing Apothecary page on Facebook. Uh, you can follow me there for different crystals. But I just thought that I would make a video so that you could see these crystals up close a little bit better. I did take some pictures of it. That's what's in the album on my page. But sometimes the video is a little bit better for seeing some of the detail. You'll have to excuse me on the lighting and if my grandson comes in. Other than that, uh, hope that you like seeing these. Now we've got 33 stones here total and the uh, amount that I have on the grid itself is $99 for those 33 stones plus shipping and handling. Um, it was set with the intention for prosperity and abundance, joy and love to be brought in. Um, I have all the quartz here from Arkansas, including the Golden Healer quartz that is in here. Yep, that's Golden Healer, not Citrine. I guess I should have used a different background. Um, but this is the mood that I've been in for this color. Um, so let's get it started here and show you some of these crystals. The first is a centerpiece and this is a golden healer, quartz in matrix. You see the dividing line on it. As I said, I'm trying to uh, play with the different lighting here. <coughs> so I'm trying to see if I can get this. Just, there we go. There's an Isis face here. There's lots of rainbows in it. Bunch of different points. I'm trying to find the sweet spot as far as showing these. A bit of a shelf here in the matrix. You can see the one point there, another one right here, here and here, here, a large one here. So we bring it around. And as I said before, possibly in a different video, you can use this grid, these gridding stones all together, or you can separate them, use other stones with them, use them with other sets. That's up to you. It's really a great stone. Alright, moving on. There are four pieces of large pieces of quartz here, not necessarily all with points. However, there are some unusual sides on them, facets on them. I don't know if you, I can get this. Let's see if I can get it in here. This one has the windows on it. Which it looks like a bunch of pyramids here. But other than that, it's just a nice piece of quartz. Some incredible energy on these. Shift my hand here. Come on. I had to put a shade on the window because even though it's an overcast day, it's still quite bright. Another piece of quartz. 
clear quartz as well. It's the opaque. Trying to get some good views on this. And as I said, these are from Arkansas, and I'm probably the second person to handle them. So their energy is very, very good. Nice point here on this one. Quite a few of them have the Lemurian lines on them, so look carefully on the sides. There's some here. Not exactly a great point on some of these. But that's okay. Some great Lemurian lines on this one. If you know crystals, you know that it doesn't have to be an exact point. It doesn't have to be all that pretty. It doesn't have to be huge. And it'll still do some really great work. Okay, so let's move on to the Golden Healer Quartz Clusters. These are a little bit different. Um, still some great energy here with these. Maybe if I bring it up a little bit more. Caught some real good pictures of them earlier, but... Let's bring it back in. There we go. Great little points on this. Why can I not get a good focus? Is that better? That's a little bit better. one of them. It's like little points on all these little itty bitty beautiful points. What's the matter, Boo? Do you want to get out and the big old kitty's in the way? It's okay. You can go around. See, coming in closer doesn't really help. So that's the fourth one of the Golden Healer clusters. Let's go around to the other smaller quartz. Got a little bit of sunlight coming in now. I'm glad I blocked off the window somewhat. More Lemurian lines on this one. It's getting bright. So there are the one golden healer cluster in the center. There are four of the larger. Maybe I can move it in the dark a bit more. Hi, puppy. Four of the larger quartz.
clear quartz or just quartz. More Lemurian lines on this one. This one's actually quite clear. Look at this. Come on, show up. Nothing to focus on. What are you talking about? There we go. A window in there on that one. And if you know quartz, you know that the size of it doesn't matter. back here. Beautiful little stones. Let's look at this one again. Can I get it over here better? And sometimes you can see that there's some phantoms in them. Really depends. All right, let's move on to the smaller golden healer points. Wow, there we go, nice and clear on that one. I believe the golden healer effect is just iron oxide, but you know what? It makes them look really nice. little double point on this one. Okay, keep moving around. And I will go back and I will grab a couple of the other ones that didn't come out that clear. I think now I found the spot, the window on that one, that triangle indentation really great stones to work with some of my other quartz are gorgeous and I will be taking more videos nice thin one, but it's actually three crystals in one. Okay. Last round, second to last round, is the small quartz. As you can see, it's about as long as my fingertip. Where's that sweet spot again? the Lemurian line there. This is actually self-healed. You can see from the line there. Self-healed means that it was started out doing one thing and then stopped and started doing something else within the same line. Very pretty. Do, 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 do. Waiting for the focus. <clears throat> I'm coming in. I'm gonna come and focus. There we go. There you are. Look at that. Look at that pretty little thing. Look at all that in that pretty little one. Look at the lines on this one. And the bridges. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Now some of you who are a bit more expert in crystals may see other things in these that I am not seeing. If the stones are speaking to you, well, they're definitely speaking to you. I think quartz is one of my favorite stones because you can see so much in it. Starting to go a little bit faster when these come into focus. Look at that. A little bit right there. Right by my thumb. Isn't that pretty? These beings have a lot of energy and they are all. There's an Isis face. They are all connected to any of the other stones that I have had and worked with. I have cast several quartz stones into the local river so that uh, it can heal the waters, both here and connecting to any other water source that there is. Come on and focus. Get off my fingerprint. There we go. Um, the local river around here is the Kishwaukee River and it flows north. Wait a minute, where are you? Or did you? You. Yeah, it flows north same as uh, the Nile does. And I find it very magical because of that. Had a slight pause there as my grandson came in to talk to me about whether or not he could play with an old toy of mine. So the Kishwaukee River flows north. Um, and I find that very magical. I consider myself and I am an elemental priestess so I like working with all the earth's energies grounding, connecting, stabilizing um, and quartz just happens to be one of those things that uh, I can get in abundance so it's easy enough for me to use that for the healing. There is so much in some of these stones. Okay, let's move on to the small ones now before I go back. These are going to be difficult. There isn't a whole lot to them. And then again, if anybody Nose crystals knows that uh, size does not mean that it is not as powerful as other stones. They can be quite powerful. And just because it doesn't have a point does not mean that it's not as powerful, it cannot be directed, it can definitely have the energy, energy direction. There are eight of the smalls and eight of the mini quartz, which this is a mini, this is so small. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of detail in these. Focus! This one's not wanting to come into focus yet. 
must be shy. Are you shy, little one? I'm trying to hold it at different angles to not catch the light. Come on. Okay, well this one is definitely being shy. Does not want to, oh there we go. Thank you. Sometimes you just have to wait until it comes into play. Look at that little window right there. See, these little ones don't necessarily uh, don't count them out. Just because they're little. I have some really little ones. Really tiny, tiny ones smaller than this. I'm using them for wand tips. You go there, you go there. I'm talking like really small. Nice little piece here. Another self healed. So if you're interested in the first grid or any of the stones that are listed in the other albums, which are A through L, which is a good size stone for making wire wrap necklaces, wire wrap points. Um, those are five dollars each plus shipping and handling um, then you know you can check those out um, try and get the center one in here again yeah there we go uh, then I've got M through Z which actually this piece is Z that I put in the grid, so you can see more pictures of it. Um, those are priced based on the actual stones themselves, uh, so I can't quote you any prices off of those, but it's whatever the price is plus shipping and handling. Come on, focus. Um, you can go check those out on my Raven's Wing Apothecary page under my albums. And hopefully you will find something in there that you like. I will try to do a video of the stones from those albums, A through L and M through Z. Well, M through Y. This is Z. Um, and then you can see some of those stones up closer a little bit more. I do accept PayPal. Um, hopefully we will have you joining us back here again at Raven's Wing Manor on YouTube, Raven's Wing Apothecary on Facebook. Uh, find me, check me out. I've got a couple other subjects in that that I put on my apothecary page um, about healing. It's not always about crystals. Um, and if you like anything, let me know. I have a whole lot of other stones that I have to go through. I'm considering putting them together in uh, packs of like, I don't know, four, eight, whatever, for doing grid work. 
Um, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I've got a variety of sizes. As I said, I've got from the small ones up to this size, which are good for wire wrapping, up to larger ones. I've got some more golden healers. Some are the quartz that's clear. Some are the ones that are cloudy or opaque. I've been told that that represents whether it's female, feminine energy, or male, masculine energy. Look at these sitting here all pretty. And as I said, it's a kind of a cloudy day and these are shining brightly. Look at that. So if you're interested in this or any of my other quartz, please, please check out my album. Let me know. Look at that one. And hopefully you can find something that uh, entrances you that you want to work with. The first grid, this grid is all these stones, 33 of them, $99 plus shipping and handling. Let me know. I'll be throwing some more stones out here. We will see you later. Maggie Ravenswing out. Peace in. Have a great day.